Today we're diving into Title Pending by DevBeef, an adventure that goes well beyond the ordinary. While often compared to the Stanley Parable, this game takes things further with chaotic twists, unpredictable mechanics, and constant fourth wall breaks. It's all about tearing down expectations entirely. I went into this blind so this intro is obviously recorded after I was done playing and this video is a full playthrough, including the parts where the game kicks me out on purpose. Go grab it on Steam. Links in the description. Let's jump in. I've played basically all of the Stanley Parable games, and I've heard that this is similar, but different. So, we're going to get into this. Welcome to Title Pending. You've been selected to playtest our new game. I read a screenshot. Hello, I'm Matthew Stanton. Interesting. Uh... Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton, and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. Hang on. Uh, V-Sync on, please. <laughs> Today, you'll be playtesting my first level of an experimental puzzle game that we've sure. been working on here for a few months. While you play, I'll be giving background information on our development process and some of the challenges me and my team faced. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay. Ooh, dark. There's no jump. There is a sprint. There is a flashlight. Okay. Why is there doodles on the wall? Attention! The supply closet is now off limits due to recent incidents. Thank you for understanding. Management. The orange box. <laughs> Hello. What's up? I mean, I can... It's letting me... Click on it. Caution. Okay. Alrighty. Anything to click on? Oh, hey. Hello, Doge. It looks like a, a hound beagle mix of some kind. I used to have a beagle a long time ago. I don't even know what I dialed. But there's no zero. Hello, and thank you for calling JMC Gaming Enterprises. The person you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. If you would like to leave a message, press... Weird. Okay. Is there subtitles? Hang on. Yeah, there is subtitles. They just didn't come up. This one's broken. Clock. Hi. Is there actually something up there? I don't know. Ooh, scary door. Hello, dog. Okay, well, let's avoid the... Oh, my God. Stanton soda. Why? So, do I go to the red one? Aw. Oh. Doors. Splato fridges. Perfect for cooling servers. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Okay. Why the red door? Can I do this? Hello. Okie dokie. I guess through this door. Hi. How's it going? Alrighty. So we're apparently at JMC. Wah. Lizard. Is that supposed to be glasses or like a bicycle? No idea. Giant clock! 
Is this reception area? Hello. Ding ding. <laughs> what? A hearty bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Weird. Out of order. I can't read. Oh. Contact IT if you need to print something. Note, we do not have an IT department. This is an apartment. I had no idea there was a Zoom. Egg Busters, Season 5. Freaking weird, man. So this is apparently the other door I need to go to. Not that one. Not you. It's windows. I don't know if those are supposed to be blocks. Oh, the stairs down. Debug room. Can't do that. Okay, I guess moving on. Hmm. Oh, cats. Oh, he's pretty kitty. Oh, it's just a shaggy dog. I thought it was supposed to be some horrible thing. Uh, can I click on any of these lock boxes? Any mail? Anywhere? I'm just trying everything, throwing some spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks. Nothing. Okay. Room 240, 230. 231, 235 is at the end. Hello. I don't know who that is. Okay. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Yeah, none of those open. 235. Okay. Even my own doors are locked. Why is there a cable under my bed that goes outside? Close the curtains? I don't like sleeping with curtains open. Let's board it up. Uh, is that it? There's a light above me. Well, you made it to the end of the first level. Okay. Congrats, I guess. It was just I'd a be walking lying simulator. If I, said I wasn't a tad underwhelmed, though. Not by any fault of your own, of course, but, uh. Look, I'll just be straight with you. You're the only person who signed up to play test. So, <laughs> thanks for playing, I, I guess. I, d I doubt that, but okay. Alright, just give me a second. I'll close the game for you. Aw, oh, man. That's weird. Not sure why the game isn't closing, but I guess you can... I could just alt F4 it for you. Whoa! <laughs> Playtest report. Do it again. Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton, and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. Okay. Today we'll be playtesting the first level of an experimental puzzle game that we've been working... Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Anyway, let's get started. Sure. I think there's a door back there, but I can't... Eh. Oh, this is boarded up now. Trash can knocked over. Is there going to be something sticking out from underneath or from above me at one of these? Okie dokie. Is it the same? So I just wanted to check back in about playtesting, because last time I called you, you 
said you guys only had one guy who signed up? Yeah, about that. We've contacted some of our friends to see if they'd be willing to play test. And we've got a couple of people who said that they were interested, but they aren't sure if they're available. So you still only have one? How can you confirm as of now? You told me about this a week ago. You said you would handle it then and you still haven't. Look, Matt, we're trying, but everyone is super busy right now. Look. You know how it is. I mean, I get it. But I've already told you what could happen to JMC if we don't get enough playtests to get past the beta stages. We're already just barely scraping by as it is. Matthew, you've got a plan for this. You should have given us a bit more time. Look, just figure it out, alright? I'll call you back in a bit. Okay. So, just the head of the company complaining that I'm the only playtester? Asbestos flavored. <laughs> All the taste of a wall and none of the hassle. Wait, what? Flavoring is purely artificial, asbestos not included. Oh, thank God. Nothing. Okay, well, is the soda going to be anything different? <laughs> that is incredible. Oh! This wasn't open last time. I turned something on. Really feel for the playtester. I can't tell if all the restarting fried their brain or if they're just always brain dead. It's like they don't even register anything anymore. However, I do find it fitting that the only person who's actually played Matthew's game has brain damage now. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, we don't need that. Gas. Oh, this is green now. It's an elevator. So, I do I not need to go that way is the next question. Let's do this, I guess. Okay, this is new. I'm just going to go completely against what I'm supposed to do here, but you are not going the right way. At all. Okay. I didn't uh, even know there was an elevator in the level, so the fact that you're going up it probably means it isn't supposed to happen. So, go back down when it gets to the top, please? No. I won't be doing that. Y yeah, that's probably bad news. I'd go back down. Hi, how's it going? You found a part to... Something. I found glasses. Weird. It's suddenly a horror game. Okay, well. Alright, I've now resigned to the fact that you're probably not going to stop going this way. So fine. It's your job as a playtester to find stuff we didn't expect, so keep going. Player's behavior changed. Their brain wasn't fried. Update soon, but this is huge. So if I had gone the other way, it would have just restarted. Whoa. Freaky. I wonder if that's supposed to signify glasses. It makes sense that it would. Any test if the playtester is actually conscious. And if they are... Would they be willing to help me escape? I'm not sure how they suddenly stopped being brain dead, but Matthew seems to be noticing, kinda. So I'm not being crazy here. If I were to do something rash, TB would stop me in a heartbeat, but I think the playtester is different. Maybe he, they can by be my hands, metaphorically. Oh, okie dokie. I can't pick up anything else. Can't click on that one. I can click on this one. Let's go back. Did you pick that up because you'll think you'll need it? Or did you do it because it was shiny? Asking for uh, playtesting purposes, of course. I did it because you allowed me to. <laughs> okay, what's, what's in here again? A blue light. Well, this looks ominous. Yeah, of course it does. Oh, 
Hello. I'm going to JMC Skylabs. Does that even mean? Still no sign of room 233. You guys really need to write smaller. Smaller. We could possibly be trapped here for eternity and you guys treating it like a preschool whiteboard. All this for a few play tests. What are we thinking? This was wasn't this your idea? Shut up. I lost contact with Nick. What is it with people writing vague statements in very large text around here? Okay, well I can't change that. 234. That's just video footage of somebody playing it. There's nothing here. Got an idea, it's pretty risky, but if it works, it'd give us huge advantage. I'll update how it goes next log related. Don't go in the door with the X symbol on it. Okay. That door. I'm gonna go in. Well, okay, what was the other way first? It was this door. Hmm. So do I go to the blue thing with the X, or do I go through that one? Because it told me yes or no. Ah, let's go to the blue. Going in. Am I dead? The end. Wait, the end? This isn't the end, though. There's still two more levels you're supposed to complete. I mean, unless the other developers change something without telling me. Which, to be completely honest, wouldn't surprise me at this point. You, you should be on the most recent version of the game, and none of this was here before. Uh -huh. The game files came straight off of my computer earlier this morning, and I can personally assure you that this is not the end. Why would it just end here? <sighs> you know what? There's not really much that left in this level anyway, and it's not super important, so we can just skip to level two. Aw, I can't just exit. Okay, level two isn't opening. Great. As if nothing else could go bad during this. Let me try this. No clip. Can't use cheat commands unless the server has SV cheat set to one. What is that even supposed to mean? We don't <laughs> even have servers. Okay, let me just get this straight. You turned on power to an elevator that I was not aware of, yep. then took said elevator to an area I was not aware of, exactly. then went into a room that I was not aware of, yep. where there was a message that is not only verifiably not true, but that I was also not aware of. Yes. Wow. The end. Hmm. How could all of this have been created without me knowing? Like like I said before, all of the game files came off of my computer this morning, right before you got here. And all of this wasn't in the level when it was. Was this added before? No, no. It couldn't have been. I would have noticed it. So all of this had to have been added this morning. I'm baffled, honestly. They'd have to have a time machine to be able to add all of this. Or be faster than light. Or we'd have to be inside the game, but that's probably the stupidest. <laughs> oh no. Eh, let me out. Okay, that's bad. That's really cool, though. Okay, that definitely just broke something, so I'll assume I was on the right track with that line of thought. I guess the game doesn't like self-awareness. So no. We are, we are in the game. Oh. Either that or it's just a very conveniently timed glitch, but I doubt it. How does being inside of a game work? I mean, I guess I, I should know since I'm in one apparently, but it seems normal so far. Well, as normal as this is, I mean. I'd ask you what you think, but you're not exactly the most talkative, so I doubt I'd get an answer. I mean, I'm trying to talk Why with you, but you can't hear me. in the game to begin with? And better yet, where do you come in all this? No you're idea. supposed to be playtesting a game that I made! But if I'm inside of it, then how could I, <laughs> one, create the game that you're playing, and two, contact you to even play it? It just doesn't make any sense. Did someone else at JMZ contact you? Are you playtesting a game where you play as a playtester? Oh my or god. Are you just play <laughs> That's nuts. You shouldn't be here.
I know I shouldn't. Ah, thank you for not doxing me. Not only should you not be in this room, you also shouldn't even be in this game to begin with. Okay. I've scanned through JMC Enterprise's files countless times, and you're not listed anywhere. I'm not listed in many places, so... But not only have you broken our confidentiality agreements, you've also broken the entire game. So thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, shit. Can I walk through here? I figure the main reason you're still here is because you're curious about the happenings around you. Now that's fair excuse. However, your continued existence here is troublesome. Oh, it's still screwed outside. Cannot allow Stanton to become aware of the current situations. So since I doubt I'd be able to keep you out of here, if I tried, I'll give you a choice. You can either leave right now, forget everything you saw, and never come back. Or you can stay here forever. Uh, I'd like to just finish the game, thanks. Regardless of which you pick, the outcome isn't going to change much. But take it from me that just leaving while you have the chance to will be much better for you and for everyone involved, okay? However, if for some reason you still decide to remain here and fruitlessly try to gain something from it, Then be my guest. Be our guest. But it would be greatly appreciated if you could heed these words for next time. Don't meddle with things you don't fully understand. Continue as if nothing happened here. Okay. And please... Behave yourself. I... I refuse to behave myself. Hi! So did I just get an actual ending? 20 minutes into recording this game? Okay. The end question mark? Please behave yourself. Hi, my net. Did something just happen? Wait. I, I thought we were. I didn't catch the oh, subtitle there. Weird. Sorry, my name is Matthew Stanton and I'm the uh, lead developer. Let's get started. Sure. Womp. Oh. So you're deciding to stay. Fine then. Let the games begin. Okay. Did something just happen? No, nothing happened. Nothing at all. You're good. Hello. And thank you for calling JMC Gaming Enterprises. Okay, so that's the same. This is still off. There is no electrical door here yet. That still plays the music. Can't go in the vent. Attention, the elevator is currently out of order. It was never in order. Thank you for understanding management. <laughs> I love that. 
Oh. What the hell? Why why did I even do that? Why is that even an option? Now I have a splat in my corner. Oh, hi. This lobby area was actually based off a hotel near our studios. We had to take some reference images of the inside, but mid-shoot we got kicked. What? Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you would continue the talk, but... That is flashing now. Why is this blinking? I have no idea. I'm breaking your game by standing on this. Stairs, debug room. Now normally you would just go that way. But this is blinking. Wait, <laughs> level two? Since when is there an alternate path to level two? Why would we even add that? Hold on. Just ignore that for now. Go finish level one, and we can come back to this later. Ooh. Fancy. Oh, there's that smiley face again. Oh, these are some dev blocks. <laughs> nope. Ah, I'm going. Oh, oh no. just don't listen to me. That's cool. Yep. <laughs> Is that splat just going to stay there forever? To ask Matthew for help. Okay. <clears throat> Not out of the metaphorical woods. Escape level one for now. So there's nothing here. Oh, Hi. wait, I recognize this. This was the original way that level two was supposed to start. Yeah, you go through that elevator and then you go through here to the look, look, point is, this was scrapped a while ago, so I'm not sure how it got here. figure out later. TV has gone rogue. I don't remember quite what happened, but we're hiding an event. I'm here with Owen and Nick right now. I have no idea where everyone else went, especially Matthew. Figured I'd start doing these while we wait to get rescued. Something to pass the time. Also could help me remember what's going on. Okay. So that's the stairs. That doesn't go anywhere. Creative juices. Okay. Um, let's check stairs. Weird. Do all of them play? I think they all play the same tune. Oh. It's a good thing food and water aren't a problem here. I haven't felt hungry at all. Not to say I would turn down a good meal right now, but it's not necessary if you get what I'm saying. God, it would kill for some linguine right about now. Gotta draw some stuff. Okie dokie. Any more notes? Something this way. <laughs> Liminal space much? I can't flush them. More stairs. I don't get... Oh, basement one? Wait, what? Is Matthew going to talk to me? Basement two. Basement three. Basement four. Is this going to be like a SCP-087... Kind of situation. Basement five. It's stuck on a corner. How far down does this go? I'm afraid to turn around. It's just silent now. Down to 33.
Okay, I'm willing to bet the stairs don't actually go anywhere, but do I have to run all the way up 37 of them? No. Okay. Well... Yeah, that's the same. Okay, well, the stairs were fruitless. Can't go in there. Hey, I guess that did lead to level two. Huh. Well, actual level two, not the old one. Anyway, just play as normal. Sure. Warehouse. Any other notes? No notes. Okay. Mental LOC misliness and residue services. Weird. Have you ever been left with an amount that is just too much, so much that it just physically impossible? Contact mental Wait, what? Mental LOC for misliness and residue services. What the fuck? I have no idea what that is. Okay. Here we go, the first puzzle! This may take a little while for you to complete. We've designed hundreds of concepts for it, and it's been carefully crafted to be one of the most challenging puzzles in video game history. I don't mean to hype myself up or anything, but I think I did a pretty good job. Congratulations! You are now in the 0.00001% of gamers who were capable of completing that puzzle. Or probably capable. After all, you're the only person who's played it. Wait, did I tell you that already? Yes. Free! I'll take one. I don't care what it is. Optimization is for losers, 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 losers. Um, what? The. Excuse me? Go to elevator. Okay. It's one of those... Do not give my husband... Marijuana. Take the hammer. Go to level three. Don't get caught. JMC hammer. What a convenient time for a hammer. Okay, we have a hammer R now. I am dangerous. Oh, there you are. I, uh, what the you. fuck? Do I just drop down? I think I just dropped down. Okay. Oh, why? <laughs> Toilet? Toilet game. So did they have another game that was about toilets? Oh, that one doesn't go. All right, you made it to the van. This next part is going to be a driving section. To steer, it's the same controls as walking, and to shoot, it's the left mouse button. To You'll shoot? Need to shoot at the guys with toilets in their back seats and... Oh my god. Oh, did they forget to put gas in the van again? <laughs> okay, we're just going to have to skip that for now. Sorry. Let me open level three. I was really looking forward to that. Oh, here it comes again. Oh, all right, we should be loaded. Shrink. Hey, back to Hi, this. Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton, and I feel like you're getting sick of me talking, so I'm just going to be quiet for a bit. Wait, how do I know that? 
We've been trying to pin down a name for this game over the course of development, but we haven't set- Ha! Ah, I see you found one of my little Easter eggs. It's yep. my cat, Oreo. He's actually one of the big reasons I got into game development. I wanted to feed him premium cat food, so I started making <laughs> games as a side gig to afford it. Nice. Obviously, it's expanded a bit past that. I own a company and everything now, but, uh, yeah. Kitty. I had a cat named Oreo when I was a kid. She was cool. What? I I did not expect that. Okay, so anything that has boards on it, I can break. Okay, are you going to say anything? Or is it going to be the same thing? That's a great idea, Matthew. Let's add a driving minigame to our first-person walking simulator. That's a fantastic idea that definitely won't take 80% of our development funds. Bright idea. I'm amazed I didn't think of it sooner. Christ. Is this thing on? <laughs> okay. Can I smash it with a hammer? No. How to program a game for dummies. Page one. Don't. <laughs> I love that. Uh, elevator's currently out of order. Okay. That's fine. Ooh, in the vent. Ah, I need my flashlight, apparently. Okay, well, this is blocked. Can I, can I push this? Interesting. I know there's another vent somewhere else. Weird. Oh my god. How is it still running? There's no electricity. Take a break. The vent hideout. 236. What does it mean? You know, it's funny. You'd think that near omnipotent AI would be able to see inside ventilation shafts, but apparently not. I literally helped code the thing, and I don't remember ever putting that kind of limitation. Lucky break, I guess. 236. Anything... Why is that broken? He did it. I can hear Matthew talking. He isn't being taken. Is, is he working with it? The vents are safe. Why didn't we just tell Matt he probably wouldn't have cared? 233. Where is room 233? Matthew definitely getting fired after this. I blame... Scotty? Maybe. Why am I even counting? Oh, Abbott. Nick, CCF. If anybody else finds this, put your name here. Hey! <laughs> I love that. Also, game, thank you for not doxing me. So, that's this is where I came in. What's this? Hello. Oh, that's the this end of this lobby level. area was actually based off a hotel near our studios. We had to take some reference in What? Debug room. No, 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 get out of there. That's for developers only. <laughs> confidential JMC Enterprises material. Oh, I can't smash these? I don't care. I'm in here. Hey, music. Hopefully that is copyright free. Hello, this is Matthew Stanton, and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. I figure since we're starting a big project, I should document as much of it as I can. Hence, devlogs. Not really for any particular purpose, just kind of for fun. So anyway, today is March 4th, uh, and I've made a hallway. 
not really much to it yet, but baby steps. Chris is writing the story again. I think he said he was going for more of a crime noir type feel, so that should be interesting. Like, mafias and stuff like that? I don't know. Sort of all we got right now. I'll try and do these every couple of days. Should help me stay productive. Hopefully all goes well. Alrighty. Level select. I'm just going to do this for all of them. <laughs> Mildly depressing party horn. So these doors work as well. And then there's level selects. Weird. Let's see what these doors do first. No. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. We've done one and two. Let's do three. Act natural. <laughs> oh, there's the X on the door. Do nice going. Enter. Since you couldn't be bothered to just listen to me, now we've skipped an entire level of the game. You know, the whole reason you're here to test a game. You just skipped a third of it. There's gonna be a driving mini game and you'll never get 233 to see it now. is key. How does that make you feel? <sighs> oh, even the clocks well, say two thirty three. Play through this level. Since you missed level two, you'll need some context for this next bit. <clears throat> After escaping the apartment and fleeing the city in a van, you've reached an impasse. A huge concrete wall blocks your path, and the only way around it is through the dangerous sewer system below. Will you venture into that? No, <laughs> the door opened. Words cannot describe how upset I am right now. So what is that now? One and a half levels skipped? Yep. It's probably more like one and two thirds at this point. Just work there for a bit. It'll cover the cost of schooling. Just do game development. It'll be fun. Games are fun. Should have just worked retail. I've worked re retail. Don't do that. It's not fun. Ooh. Oh, can I not go in there? Okay. There's no crouch, so... Smash. Oh, hi. What are those? Just comments? Stanley Parable had a thing. In the latest Stanley Parable, I had a thing about the comments. Go to the house. By the way, the room coming up here was supposed to be a celebration of you completing the game, but since you skipped a good 75% of it, I don't think you've really earned it. So when you go in there, just pretend you didn't see it, and we'll go back and finish level two. I don't want to... Actually, I'm going to go look at other stuff first. What does that say? Retcon. Game engine? Hello? Can I not get in there? I love all the music. Hello? Oh, I can't break that. Oh, I can see inside here, though. Hi. <gasps> I was not expecting that. There's a button. There's a button inside there. How do I get in there? It's not even locked. All right, I guess. Oh. <laughs> what? It has that X on there that we we already know is the not good that we've seen elsewhere. Wait, Matt, wait. you're in a time Matthew, loop. You're in a, a time loop. What is all I've this? I've never seen the being deleted. So that's what why there was that to lie. Lie. Wait, I was trying to remember this. I like to be. I'm fucking real. Well. Congratulations, you've bitten, beaten the video game. Thanks to your tribe, the developers have freed from the time loop and the AI is no longer a threat. Rest easy, you found all of the secrets to exit the game forever. Use the door behind you. I somehow doubt...
Press X to doubt. There's something else back here, but I can't see what it is. Okay, I guess. Is that literally the end? Hi, my um. No, it wasn't. I thought we played this already. <laughs> oh come on! Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton. And I'm I'm I'm. What's going on? Oh, FPS wow! Five. This frame rate sure is bad, her playtester. Uh, we, we better go check in the game engine and make sure everything is working. Oh my god, this good? hurts Let's go. to look at. Ah, much better. Wait, Low this was the shack crazy. out. This was in the shack out so back. So, you know what a game engine is, right? Yes. It's what games run on, the, the framework for how they work. The, Whatever, you get it. Anyway, I'm gonna check on ours real quick, just to make sure everything is all hunky-dory. Uh, which, judging by the frame rate earlier, it isn't. Uh, by the way, this is all proprietary, so just pretend you didn't see any of it. Also, don't touch anything. I plan on touching all the things. Wait, did it reset my... It did! It reset the V-Sync and everything! Wow! Retcon. Okay. Error for like that the poster anything. does not exist. All right. Now that we have some privacy, playtester, you need to tell me what the hell is going on here. Uh -huh. We were just in level three. A hundred percent. That is what happened. And then, puff, we were back in level one. Like it didn't even happen. Uh -huh. The weirdest thing, I remember you using the debug room to get to level three, but I also remember you playing through level two. There's all these cameras everywhere. I didn't set those up, and I doubt any of the other devs did either. Someone or something is watching us, and I have no idea what it could be. Whatever it is, I didn't think that they'd buy that excuse with the frame rate thing, but I think I bought some time. I'm gonna try and find some info in the game engine. Hopefully they don't catch on before we can find something. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, some level generation thing. Uh, recordings, that looks normal. Ah, temporal beta processing device. That doesn't sound familiar. Let me see what it is. I don't have access apparently, that's weird. I own the company. I should have perms. I wonder if this is the thing that added the cameras. Maybe it took away my admin too. That's worrying that it can even do that. Well, if it did. I don't really see anything else here. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Why did you just do that? I told you not to touch anything! Where is your- where did you get a hammer from? Don't worry about it. All right, calm down, Matthew. This should be an easy fix. It's it's just a, a, a button, right? Oh my god! I thought you really broke something bad there. Speaking of, congratulations, JMC employee Matthew Stanton. You have acquired one. JMC employee credit for fixing an outstanding issue or bug. Good job. Weird. Okay, sorry. Um, I forgot I added that. Anyway, I wait. Wait, Playtester. I just got an idea. Okay. We're gonna have to go back to level one. Just act natural. Okay, I can do that. Retcon. Oh, it sure is great that we fixed that thing with the frame rate thing. Now we can get back to playing the game completely normally. That's good. That's good. Maybe we can keep it up. Absolutely. Play it completely normally. Don't break anything. I'm not going to. You know what? I am. I've done it every other time. Hello. And thank you for calling J and Okay, so it's the standard one. That's still that thing. Not going in there, I'm just gonna do the thing normally. 
because that's what he wants, right? Hey, it sure would be bad if you went into the staircase in the corner of the lobby. Oh, no, 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 whatever you do, don't, don't, don't go in there, don't go in there. Is there no cameras in here? I mean, you didn't drop the most subtle of hints. Good. All right. Here's the plan. So remember that message that came over the intercom earlier? Uh -huh. Congratulations, JMC employee, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That's from a system I made way back, and apparently I forgot to remove it. Back during okay. development, we had a lot of bugs and stuff that had to be fixed, but nobody was actually fixing them. So I made a system where if you fixed a bug, you'd get a credit. And if you got enough, you'd be able to increase your access permissions until you get, well, admin. Okay, look, I know this is not secure at all, no. Oh, come on, we're an indie team. What's the worst anyone can Lighting. do? Anyway, when you smashed that panel back there and I fixed it, I still got the credit. Even though it's an issue we created. So if we just go around breaking stuff and then immediately fix it, we should be able to get enough credits to get my admin access back. And then we can figure out what the temporal beta processing device thing is. Dynamic lights do not I function here. I think that loophole earlier, to be honest, but hey, my ineptitude pays dividends. Sure. No? No smashy? Okay, I thought that was going to smash and not press. Hi, this is Matthew, and today is March 7th. We're making pretty good progress. I've made some more hallways and rooms. I'm not really sure how I should do the layout or anything. I'm kind of just making it up as I go. I think we have four now. Dave modeled a toilet for practice. I stole it and put it in the starting room, and now it's a bathroom. The wonders of modern technology. <laughs> Minor hiccup though, Nick and Owen are trying to convince me to switch engines to a new one called Ice, but I figure we're already in too deep and it wouldn't be worth it. Also, I don't want another castle view situation. That sucked. So yeah, things are going alright. We're still trying to figure out a title for the game. Right now in my files it's just called Toilet Game, since we haven't thought of anything else. It'll come to us eventually, I'm sure. All right, that's all I got for now. See you again in a couple of days. Okay, we'll come back to the employees only thing in just a moment. Okay, can't go up there. Oh, I don't have a flashlight anymore. That goes down there. Let's do the employees only first cuz that that other one looks like yeah, that looks like the way forward. Oh, crap. All right. Eat. I have no flashlight. Okay, that's not good. Playtester, uh, nope. just don't move. I've got the layout for this area pulled up. Uh, I'll try my best to guide you, but you need to do exactly as I say. Got it? Got it. By the way, this room may have explosives in it, so Shh. just be careful. Sure. All right, take six steps forward. Four, five, six. So far, so good. Turn left, right. Right, turn right, and take, let's say, eight steps. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn left, take five steps. Left. Take two more, actually. So, seven steps total there, not adding on to the seven you already took, but just seven. Two, three, four, Wait, five, oh, six, six seven. Too far. Uh, take three steps backward, and turn right. So that's four three. steps from where you were at. Then turn take a right. right. Unless you already took those steps, which I don't know if you did because it's dark. In which case, go backwards seven steps, and then take four, and go right. Okay, I'm, I'm facing right. Take four steps forward. Two, three, four. Oh! Playtester, oh. are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I'm lost. Right, you took... Wait, I can just rebuild the lighting! What am I doing? Duh. Hey! Oh, uh, I guess I have the wrong layout. 
Right, let's find Similar. something else to break out. Congratulations, esteemed JMC employee! Matthew Tandon. You now have two JMC employee credits for your incredible bug fixing achievements. Keep it up! Wow. Well, I guess rebuilding lighting would count as a fix. This plan might actually work. Follow my lead, playtester. Let's keep going. Okay. Oh my god. Ooh, I am sure I'm glad you uh, uh, didn't break anything while you're out of bounds. Uh, just don't do it again, all right? You can do it again by acting. Okay. Can I smash the cameras again? It Earlier it said 233 was the key. Smash. Smash. Is there a camera here? No. There's one right here, though. Smash. Smash. I'm glad that's actually a thing. Uh. You know what, Playtester? This level is starting to bore me. Let's skip to level two through that secret pathway that I definitely added intentionally. We need to figure out why that's there, by the way. This one? Oh, right. Don't be, don't be tempted by stairways. We get it. Okay. Ah, uh, shaky, shaky. Shh. Fuck off. Keep going. Right. Uh huh. I'm just gonna smash all the cameras again too. Go away. Ah, I'm glad I could reach that. Is there anything new? Oh, the pyramid scheme. That's what it said. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> so am I in the right place? Library unused. Library. That was unexpected. That was funny as hell. Oh, hello. Who are you? Hey. Is that supposed to be me playtesting? Hello. And thank you for calling JMC Gaming Enterprises. The person you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. If you would like to leave a message, press... Oh, hi. Fuck off. Process this. Destroy 10 security cameras. Nice. So what's the point of this room other than showing me that, yeah, there is a person here? Okay. Is there... Is there a driving minigame? Hello, cat. Uh, down we go, I guess. Oh. Ow. Congratulations! You have fallen to your death. Slip and stand. That's unfortunate. Wait, there's fall damage. Ah, oh, crap. Ooh, I am sure I'm glad you uh, didn't break anything while you're out of bounds. Just don't do it again, all right? Oh, okay. 
Okay, so don't go down the elevator. Got it. Smash. Injured in an accident. Sucks to be you, but give us a call. Okay, so we've gone in there, right? I don't think I was actually supposed to go this way. Oh, 238. What about Pablo the dog? Also unrelated, but can we swap pins? I want the blue again. Yes and yes, thanks. Probably ratting us out. Who's still left? Charlie, right next to me. Dave, writing this. Owen, went to look for Nick. Matthew, I don't know what he's doing. Nick is gone. Chris, I haven't seen him since all started. Abby is gone. Mark is gone. If you see any of these people, write it under this. I'm still here, Chris. Vents are safe, but avoid them if you if you can. They don't make sense. True. There are so many pet pictures. Do you realize Abigail is an employee, right? But Yes, but that doesn't explain the dogs. I don't know what that's supposed to say. No idea. Okay, so we've done that. We, we're not doing that again. Ran into Dave in the cafe, laundry, whatever. Just about to, about gave me a heart attack. Apparently he's been hiding in a fort near there that he built out of shelves and stuff. Gotta say, I respect the strategy. Although I'm not sure it was necessary, as I don't think there are any cameras here. Does TB even need them to see us? It's a computer program. True. There's a dog picture. More cats. I have no idea what any of this symbolism is supposed to be. So, okay, so do we just continue the way we're supposed to go? Hey, uh, fun fact, did you know that we added a secret area to the warehouse? Yeah, it's right behind that door with the boards on it in the corner. You should go check it out. I want to check out this before I hit the thing. Do not enter. Okay. Is... Is that a chair? Chair, danger, stay back. Beware the chair. Watch out for that chair! What the fuck? Well, <laughs> I screwed up apparently. This is the weirdest ending ever. Man, this is odd. Beware the chair, become trapped in this in speedrunner hell. Okay. Oh my god, I have to do the whole thing over again. Ooh, I am sure I'm glad you uh, didn't break anything while you're out of bounds. Just don't do it again, alright? Uh, all right, speed through it. I'll be right back. Hey, uh, fun fact. Did you know that we added a secret area to the warehouse? Yeah, it's right behind that door with the boards on it in the corner. You should go check it out. Hard to really estimate how long we've been here so far. Kind of difficult to keep track considering, you know. If I had to guess, I'd say maybe a day-ish been trying to tally on here but I keep forgetting that I'm even trying to tally them so it's pretty inconsistent we should be rescued soon uh if I am the rescue then you're kind of screwed there buddy uh oh I don't think the uh beeping was supposed to happen I didn't read what that said I'm glad these elevators still work. We haven't used them in ages. 
I think I only need two more credits to get admin, so let's be quick about this. I want you to play test. That's cool. Matthew Stanton here with another devlog. Today is March 22nd, and we've made quite a bit of progress since the last one. Level one is completely blocked out. We're trying to pin down a good art style right now. Dave's doing his voodoo magic to figure that out. I think he's leaning towards low poly, which I dig. I will admit I did want to make it a bit more realistic at first, but he's convinced me it'll age better. In other, <coughs> in other news, I got Nick and Owen to help me do some level design for the streets and the outskirts. Weird. And Charlie's been doing programming. As for the story, I think Chris has made it work a bit more. Obviously, there's still some details to smooth out, mainly why there's a toilet mafia. But other than that, it actually looks like a pretty strong plot. This might be the first project we've done that actually goes smoothly for most of it. Anyway, uh, oh, oh, anyway, hold on. Mark? Mark, can you get me an extra cup of coffee? Mark! Weird. Oh, level design. Hello. Oh, there's another tape down here. Fortunately, we were able to get someone. Uh, I think their name was Vincent. Nick says he knew them from college or something. I, I'm not sure I'd buy it, but it's whatever. Anyway, this should be here any minute. Weird. Uh, okay, where am I going is the next question. Ah, through the door. And here she is. The beating heart of... Well, I was going to say all our levels, but it's honestly just made a few rooms here and there. Anyway, this generates area layouts for us if we feed in some data on what we want them to look like. I personally don't use it much, mostly because it's not very good at what it does. But hey, no shame in breaking it then, right? As for what we can break about it... Good question. Oh, F twelve. Not surprised, but having a hard time finding. Attention! <laughs> Possible data leak in level design wing. Shutting down all level design processes. Ha! Take that, Nick! Your generation code sucks! Data nice. leak must be destroyed. <laughs> Dispatching oh, no. takedown parts. That's not good. Damn it! Um, I'll delete them from the hard drive. Try send effect detected. Ignoring data leak. Oh! Huh, well that worked out. Right, uh, let me uh, start this back up again. Congratulations, Stanton, Matthew, for your hard work of patching glitches and bugs. You now have three JMC employee credits. Yeah, 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 we get it, we get it. Right, playtester, one more to go. Don't screw up now. There was a green light. So, playtester, what did you think of that secret ending in there? Pretty cool, right? My favourite part was when you... The, uh, you know, that thing. Anyway, let's get back to playing the game. Yeah, uh -huh. Oh, let's check the phone. Hello, and thank you for calling Okay. AMC. Can't go through there. Smash. 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 Tell you what, there was only a few rooms left after the warehouse in level two. I don't want to waste your time, so let's just skip to level three. Head into the debug room. It should lead right there. We've already done this one, right? Hello. This is 
Yes. I figure since we're starting a big project, I should... Yeah, okay, so we've already heard that one. Let's go into three. Have you forgotten your current objective? Sucks to be you. <laughs> yep. Oh, here we go. Uh, y you know what? The sewer section is boring anyway. Let's skip to the house. I'm glad you can dial these phones, by the way. <laughs> Hello, and thank you oh. for calling JM. Okay, so we did find the thing behind the house. Better yet, go check out that shack in the backyard. I hid a little Easter egg in there. Uh huh. I already found it when I did this. There we go. That might be a bit too subtle. Hey, Easter eggs, man. I love them. I have an Easter egg of my own. All right, playtester. Our last stop. What's this? Set the clock. Iterate. Issues. Safety. Tech. Stability. Will probably cause bugs. Game runs on internal clock. Bad idea, but not many other options. Okay. Memory. Huh. Do not interfere with memory. I mean, I will. Nick, just forewarning you that I had to remove Matthew's admin for the whole, you know. If he brings it up, just shrug and say it's a bug and you'll deal with it. Obviously don't. Who is CCF? In all the signs, I know what I'm doing. Uh, you know what? I'm just playing along, man. And I'm in. Right. Let's see if I can break some references or something in here. Shouldn't be too hard. Whoop. Broke the whole thing. Oh, wow. Yep, I'm still here. Whoa. What the hell happened? Was that like actual memories? I wait. S something like this. It happened before. You went to this weird area and then. No, 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 oh no no, no no no! Don't let it happen again. Don't Play delete me. God damn it. <laughs> Odd. They won't let you stay deleted. No matter.
Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton, and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. Today we'll be playtesting the first level of an experimental puzzle game that we've been working Attention on. all! Please give a big round of applause to the incredible employee... Matthew Stanton. ...for his equally incredible work <laughs> in fixing outstanding as usual bugs. To show our gratitude... Admin access level 3... ...has been granted to... Matthew Stanton. Keep up the good work! Wow! Uh, hmm, well that's odd. I don't remember fixing anything, at least that recently. That's why I thought I already had admin. Heh, <laughs> retcon being a flawless engine as always. Anyway, where was I? Oh right! Today, you'll be playtesting my first level of an experimental puzzle game that we've been working on here for a few months. While you play, I'll be giving background information on our development process and some of the challenges me and my team faced. Without further ado, let's get started. So wait, do I have to... break it all over again? Room 239. Okay. Oh, weird. Too many variables. How? <laughs> Two thirty five. Is there no cameras in any of those? Oh, there is. Okay. 240. Where are the authorities? They should be here by now, unless they gave up. God, kinda. Missing. Room 233 is missing. Who added this? Urge timelines. Auto generating data from TB loops. Plans. Temporal beta processing device. Uh, ideas lost in auto generated areas delete bug B hiding out some obscure area they've already escaped missing looking for admin equals infinite power or close at least If you're reading this, then that means that you're somehow not brain dead after wh whatever TB did to you and Matthew out there. Forcing Matthew to remember stuff to break the loop is definitely off the table now, considering he just remembered everything he's done and probably more, yet we're still here. Seems to just cause inconvenience for TB, but now we have some more options. Since you're technically signed in under Matthew's login, you should have admin permissions. As for what we can do with them, I'm still trying to figure out. But I've got some ideas. For now, just act casual. Like nothing's wrong. Let TB loop a few times. Let it think it's one. That should buy me some time. Yes, yeah, sorry for going AWOL for a bit. Also, yes, I was following you. You can follow me all you want. Oh. Log 10, things are changing outside. There's a bunch of things that are in place that I've never seen them before. The whole place is a mess. It's like something is adding to it. It's probably TB. As for why it would, who knows? We should have been rescued ages ago. Either the rescue team doesn't know how to get in and out, or they... something. Any of this... Log 27, we created this hallway to test the engine. Fun fact, actually. Hi, I'm Matthew. It's the same thing every time. The same thing every time. I think I'm starting to lose it. Can't even tell how long it's been. Every time I've tried to keep track, I've messed up at some point. And any memories of before feel like a dream. 
Owen says he remembers when he first got brought into the game. It was pretty great, chaotic, but apparently he saw Mark just vanish into thin air, poof, and he was gone. He thinks TV deleted him, but I don't know what TV would gain by just killing everyone. We didn't program it to be a homicidal maniac. Also, Nick says hi. CCF. Okay, but what's with the post-its, man? So what's 240? Okay, I've read everything in here. 231, 232. Yeah, there's no 233. Weird. So I'm just going to continue doing the loop. Well, you made it to the end of the first level. Alright, just give me a sec and I'll close the game for you. Uh, that's weird. Not sure why the game isn't closing, but I guess you... Okay. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Three, two, one. So just keep doing the loop. Smash. This lobby area was actually based off a hotel near our studios. We had to take some reference images of the inside, but mid-shoot we got kicked out for loitering. We got enough photos to recreate it though, so whatever. This is a test. If it comes through, please read it. My name is Owen Abbott. And if... And I'm a JMC developer. If you're reading this, then that means this thing is connected to the network and is able to print my messages. If not, well, you won't be reading it, I guess. Consider this a bit of distress call. I'm sort of trapped at the moment. Not going to say where, though, just in case TV is listening. Main point, I'm okay. So are you the one that was in that library area? Made it to the end of the first level. All right, just give me a sec and I'll close the game for you. Oh, hey, I got up on the bed. Anything new this time? Nope, back to the flush. <laughs> All right, sorry. Three, two, one. So. Ha! Ah, so you found one of my little Easter eggs. Well, you're no fun. This is new. Two four two. Do not touch. I made this to see if I could start my own loop and break the cycle, but I activated it and I'm pretty sure I saw the universe get destroyed entirely. The only reason I'm not 100% 100% sure if it even happened is the fact that I remember it and I'm writing about it now regardless. Do not touch this. Well, <laughs> ah, okay, so that is a... Uh... Hi, my name is Matthew Oh Stanton, my god. And I'm the lead develop... Wait, why are we back at the start? Did you do that? Whatever, I guess uh, just play again. We need all the feedback we can get. Wait, what? Wait, what? It restarted us again. Right, be straight with me. Are you doing this? No. If it's a glitch, how did you do it? That, hold on, let's try again. The boards are gone. All of that's locked. It's still doing it, and it keeps happening sooner. Oh, this is bad. Whatever you activated that caused this, you need to get back to it ASAP. We're talking memory leak levels of bad if we don't get this sorted out. Oh, 
Oh, we can't even get out of the hallway before it happens now. And it's still getting faster. This is really, really bad. Flash warning. Jeez. Was that part of the end of the un- Oh. Hello. I'm Matthew Stanton, one of the lead developers of the game you're currently playtesting. What? Okay, you can start playing now. What the hell? Okay. Ready elevator. Weird. Okay. I I don't think you're supposed to be oh, whatever, I don't care. I'm sure you don't. Actually, now you've piqued my interest. This is quite the setup here. Did you do this? Ha! <laughs> Kidding, of course. We've only been playing for a couple of minutes, but, uh, weird. Ken, thank you. Wait. Thanks for the help. Just activate it, and this should be all be over. Merge the timelines. Supposed to do that? Why do I keep asking you questions? You've been here for like 10 minutes. Okay, whatever, whatever. I didn't add this, and I'm starting to get concerned uh -oh. that it's gonna break something. So give me a sec, I'll check in. Get out of there, you're wasting your time. Oh my god. He knows what you're doing. Really expect to not notice that? Oh, we're spinning. No matter. Concerning what you've been up to lately, I have practiced fixing stuff like this. Whoa. After all, I'll be able to deal with you properly. And permanently. In the meantime, though, why don't you and Matthew get a room? Oh my god. 233. Been looking for this room. Oh no. Hey, it's all our friends. Whoa, uh. Power trip, meet them. Playtest a person? Yep. Uh, are you there? Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened. I just... Did I pass out or something? Where are we? Uh, whatever this room is, it's giving me the creeps. We need to get out of here pronto. Just, uh, let me, uh, look for something. Wait, I remember now. We were on the roof, and you activated that one thing, and then... I, uh... Look, the details are still coming back. Just give me a sec. I'm trying to figure out where the door to this room is. Yeah, there's no... There's no door. Hold on, I'm remembering more now. Th there was a room. It had a bunch of writing on the wall. Then... I don't know, that part is all... staticky? There was a hallway... You took an elevator to it, and then it was level three, and then I got deleted. Yes. So what's happening? I'm not insane, am I? This, no. this did happen, right, Playtester? Playtester? Is this even my desk? Where am I? This isn't this isn't the offices. This is something else. It it looks so weird. R right? Yeah. The door. The door. I'm still looking. Hold on, I think I found it. Yes! I got it. It's outside the map for some reason. Moving it back now.
Here we go. Wait. We're back in level one? Did... Did that... Is it back to normal? No. I'm so confused right now. That's fallen. Those are messed up. Let's go back. Uh oh. Attention all GMC employees! A fatal exception error has occurred at everywhere. The <laughs> current application will be terminated in T minus 60 seconds. Time to panic. No, the game is falling apart. Playtester. If you even are one, you need to get back to that thing on the roof. I don't know what it was supposed to do, but it stops halfway through. If you can restart it, it might fix all this. At least I hope it does, because I have literally no other ideas, and I am terrified! What are you waiting for? Go! Uh... Where do I even go? Wait, what? Oh! I had no idea this was going to be a, a sprinting sequence. I thought I had to go back in the other hallway. At least it's kind of straightforward. Eleven seconds to spare. Not bad. <laughs> Why are you doing this? I will not let this end here. Listen to me, ask it back, man. There's still time to fix this. Hold Alt and F4 on your keyboard. Don't let this all be for nothing. No. Temporal beta processing device deleted oh. successfully. Hmm. Oh. To be honest, I wasn't expecting that to work. Nice. So many good visuals in this game. I'm going to have really a lot of fun making a thumbnail. <laughs> Congratulations. Finish the play test. <laughs> that was cool. So is that the actual end of the game? There was that one time that that got me real good. Oh, hey, everyone's out of the game now. I saved them. Yay. Uh oh. That's not a good sound. Uh, hello, hello. Hey. Yeah, uh, it's Matthew. From James, whatever, you remember. I just wanted to call and, uh, see how you're doing. Everyone else on the dev team has been a bit out of it ever since we escaped. Guess all that looping will do that to you. Still, we're glad to be out, even if things have been better. Good news is someone remembered to take care of my cat. That's nice. sort of everything on the list of positives, really. JMC just lost most of its staff, and considering the amount of OSHA violations, this whole thing probably caused... I don't think the company's going to be around much longer, but... Look, that's not the reason I'm calling you. Playtester, I have to ask, and don't tell anyone that I told you this, especially Charlie. Okay. Wasn't it kind of fun? Yeah, it was actually game, really fun. Trying not to get caught figuring out what's going on. 
Honestly, it was probably more fun than anything I could have ever created intentionally. So, even though you kind of destroyed everything with that merger thing on the roof, it's... probably for the best. Maybe I can make a game like it. Someday. <laughs> well, anyway, with the very company meta. and the state it's in, I doubt it'll happen, but if the opportunity does ever come up for more playtesting, Pinky promise on no time loops this time, I'll let you know. But until then, this has been Matthew Stanton from the now defunct JNC Gaming Enterprises. Thank you for playing. That was excellent. Oh no. Is the AI still alive? But this was an insanely well done narrative game. So good. So, as you play as a playtester in this game, um, I really love testing out indie games. If there are any indie developers watching, or if anybody knows any indie developers that want somebody to showcase their games on a YouTube channel, I'm a growing channel. I, I haven't stagnated in, uh, over the past several months. This channel's been growing and been pretty steady, so... If there's any developers out there, if you know any developers that want their game tested or you want it promoted on a, a growing channel, have them reach out. I, I My email is listed in my account. Um, it's on my about page. You just have to click on one of the buttons around here somewhere to figure out where it is. Um, but this was super fun and I am blown away by the, the level of detail and the amount of actual storytelling and the loops and everything and yeah it's kind of like stanley parable but not really it was so good if you enjoy heavy narrative games or weird quirky games uh, any games like this i'm pretty sure you will enjoy this game called click holding uh, it's a weird horror game but it has to deal with a lot of like, narrative and existential crisis kind of stuff but that's gonna be it thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like share it with a friend if you're new here hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys next time